cold. No, they're dead. Fuck. Give a phoenix down. Yo. It's a murder suicide, maybe. What's that little sister? Is she bigger? Oh, true. That's a lot of practice, too. Oh, the radio. You know, resurrect. Get him up. Get him up. We got prog to do. You know, resurrect, too. Get him up. Yeah, uh, now they're fucking dead. Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. By who? It wasn't the taper the tappers were it, was it? No way. No way. I already killed two of them. I'll fucking kill the rest. I don't give a shit. No. Oh. Why wouldn't they? They're scared. They're afraid. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. They don't know you if you're part of the Telephori. I mean, their fucking entire home got destroyed <laughs> by them in an instant. I should have. I agree. You should have been stronger. <laughs> Sage needs some buffs. We can't leave Especially them. when you're playing it. We have to take them home. Shame, Alphna. What if we're only making it worse? That's a possibility. A strong possibility, even. Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. I agree. But we do belong here, because if not, the tell where I went. We belong here? No. This place is much different than any other place, but the it tell where I belong here either? No. Bury them, damn. That was a fast half grave digging. Did you poop on their grave? I heard the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course I didn't believe it, but Lacinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. Okay. Preserved corpses are trying to mummify some bitches. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. Yeah, well, we tried to help them, okay? Like, like they were like, oh. In time. We will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. They ever get their grave shit on. Those aren't stones. That's poop. Damn. Must have been something we could have done. What? I mean, you could have just stayed with Alphano, and I could have just did the shit with the tapers, and then none of them would have would have been whatever. It would have been fine. Huh. Fossilized poop. Yep. Yep. Should have never come here. Would they still be alive if we hadn't? I mean, objectively, and no warmth, no food. They would have died eventually, if I'm being honest. A way forward. I've already caused enough harm here. Let's return to the camp before we cause any more. As for those inside the house, we should send someone to take care of them. Someone who isn't us. All we can do now is make our report to Lucia. We have everything in our power to prevent further tragedy. That would have taken the help. I mean, like, you can't just trust whoever, right? 
but at the same time, there's a lot of responses you could have had there. I think they made the wrong one. That's all I'm saying. But the hindsight 2020. Yeah. So let's linger here no more. Come on. Yeah, yeah, no, like. Yeah. There are more ways to like earn the respect. And especially since we were like doing errands for them, and then they were just like, yo, I'll throw the other one here. He looks kind of weak. Stab him in the back. Stab him in the back. My chair just deflated. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Got his fast travel back to the thing. Gotta go up here first. We're taking a detour. I probably can't go up there first, but we'll see. Da, 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 da. A train? It is. It's a derail train. Goddamn. What derailed the train is my, my question. There's something big out here. Is it the tree? Was it the tree we saw that was level fucking 90? I was to see if I can get this Aether right. And I'll TP back to the other one. Bum, bum. It's a different menu, by the way. Yeah, it's in the, uh, it's in the collections, yeah. That's why, that's why I have it right here now, though. It's on. Where? On top of this thing? Is it inside this thing? I am confusion. Under. So I assume that I can't get this yet. Is that what you're telling me? I assume that I can't get this yet. I have to, I have to wait for the thing. Okay, well. Ow! Uh, so that, that's fine, that's fine. You know me. I always like to do the exploring. That's fine. We'll go back. I, I'm just getting the, the Aether, right, or the, the Aether occurrence, whatever, like, as I'm, like, if they're close to the, um, what do you call it, um, like, quest objectives anyway. Because later I'll just go back and I'll do all the quests and all the shit in the area anyway. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people. I'll say an alpha note tell me that we have finished the preliminary search for survivors, but I refrain from saying much more than that. Clearly, they're reluctant to provide details. Want I ask for your account? Yeah, they're dead. Oh, we're dead. Da, da. Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoil. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. That's another thing. We could have we could have sent that guy. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lassinia and her sister, please do so. Okay, I know they said Victor spoils, but considering we do have a Garlean with us, right? And the other guys hate Garleans because they, they're like enslaved by them, right? Because they just like, you should with Cerulean, okay? We sh shouldn't send him to the other guys, but we should have sent him for the Victor spoil people anyway. That's my two cents. I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis Maxima identified. This looks so comfy, like just like the pattern. They have material. provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. Yo, hell yeah, yo, have a good time, Brain. Thanks, Hangar. For the Civil War. 
Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize okay. it. Okay, no much love, brother. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events at the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Uh, Elizabeth, that's not far. What better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. While some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. One after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvis is murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession. And in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popularis determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So House Brutus funded their own civil war. So Pandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. Civil war complete. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacius. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. Uh -huh. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garlemald. Interesting. This sounds awfully familiar. We have something to show you all. Varis spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. 
Interesting. The is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the civil war would have been spared. Hmm. No wonder Licinia kept it close. My friends, I must speak with you. A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. Yeah. What question? I think we do. A fuck. Who do we have here? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? I am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pianobanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <clears throat> if it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. I call dibs. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Are we Max over there? Please allow me and Alize to act as envoys. May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garleans face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. I'm going with you. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. Oh, they'll be safe. I promise. Couple of children. A cell sword. Is this an insult? I alone can just erase Not your entire in the least. battalion. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back.
turn against me. I dare you. I'll be the first one to put you in a grave. You'll be received as invited guests. And so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette. Conduct yourselves accordingly. Safe return takes precedence above all else. Remember this. Then credit in particular will be worried sick if you're gone too long. May the fury watch over. Uh, Julius. Get it. Are you and the children ready? I'll explain the route. The route. <laughs> the route once we are outside your camp. Anyone attempts to follow us? We'll judge it an act of hostility. We'll not hesitate to take appropriate messages. Measures. I'll expect nothing less. Or a full cooperation. Uh, uh. Uh, Julius. All right, it's far enough. Listen carefully. We'll head over that hill, follow the road until we reach Liminal Station Four. Children in the lead. Would you work and see you? You have names, you know. I'm not say. He's Alpha No. Last but not least, there's Zoe. Zoe. Never heard that name before. No matter. Alpha No and Alize. Watch the road ahead. We'll bring up the rear. He's lying about there being many dangers. You're to run, not saunter. Run towards the station. When you think about going for your weapon, it feels off. Any creature by the way, we'll go around them. Okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Yes, Mount. Coming, buddy. Oh, I have to. Okay, I see. Okay, so I can't mount. I have to make him follow me. So see the twins up there. If I sprint, he sprints. Nice. I didn't know my little buddy was gonna just dip. That's just fuck boys. It's the station, I presume. How was that? Where we be? Oh, go Tom. This is it. First stop, that is. Looks like your friends knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No, we're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Here, you've kept your size of the bargain. Carry on. Work for the station is Regio Dorum. Or Dor Domorum. Regio Domorum. One of the main residential areas, or at least it was. Afflicted roam the streets in packs, with terrorists to shreds, given the chance. Too close, no wondering off. Understood. The last bastion. Here, we're heading northeast. Even to the left of the railway. While the route itself is straightforward. Getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Weapons at the ready. Attack their own countrymen. Aye. Right. 
buried their own, but slaughtered the rest without hesitation. So we'll try to avoid detection. The chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. We'll lead the way. In the event we are seen, fight them off. Those two will follow us. Provide they can refrain from drawing their weapons. Well, I doubt they'll be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back. I'll not take that chance. That said, let's proceed. See why your comrades chose you. Really, a star contingent has the cure for the afflicted or tempered, as we call them. People wouldn't need to be taken into custody that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? Well, I know your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, they're no longer our people, beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Keep moving. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, how slow this mount looks. The same speed as the other ones, it just looks slow. Go cheesy Gordita. not being followed. Continue onward. Oh. Go away, ice trap. Remember what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before, only out of desire to remain undiscovered. That's still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. Bum, bum. Imperials look kind of rough. Look what they've become. You stand, stand there and claim that they can be cured. Those exposed to a vast quantity of primals aether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. You admit it. Either you've seen these monstrosities for yourself. People, you will think twice. <laughs> Perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. I mean, the ones that aren't severely corrupted are curable. That's what we just 